Hi loves, today I want to try out something different and this is not supposed to be a video where I want to give you advice or something but instead just a video where I talk about my thoughts on a certain topic because I want to see if it's something that you like too and something like a podcast but also not really so I'm just going to try to record only for 10 minutes and talk straight about something that is that I that I was thinking about. Today I want to talk about the topic of love. I just had this crazy thought that I want to elaborate on. So, you know in our generation we always talk about love, how we need it, how we want it. Not only in our generation, just in our lifetime we are talking so much about love. It is such a big topic. Oh my god, I wish I had a girlfriend. Oh my god, I wish I had a boyfriend. Sometimes the reason why we are looking for a partner is because we are looking for something that someone else has that we are actually looking for in ourselves. The things that we are looking for in our future partner, imagination of a future partner, are the things that we are actually lacking in ourselves that we are looking in ourselves i already talked about this a lot of times in my videos that we can see ourselves in other people it is a reflection to ourselves the things that annoy us on other people are things that we are really insecure about ourselves the things that we admire at someone else are the things that we wish we had the more positive side the things that we admire on other people are things that we are good at ourselves you know what i'm saying so the things that we know the perspective is also such an interesting topic because everyone's perspective is so different and how you see things is not the way how the person next to you see things in my past experiences i was able to learn so much about myself i think without those experiences i would never knew so much about myself as i do until this very day the more i committed into a relationship the more it hurt it and the more the bigger the lesson was at the end of the day so i see it as a blessing this is one advice my only advice in this video when you kind of feel like it is hard for you to get over a heartbreak or get over a person what you can think of is not only oh man what if but instead think of what actually is good about the situation like what did you learn about it what what did you experience through that because i was struggling a lot with learning how to accept uh, that things are not permanent and like the accepting part is really really hard for me i think the things that happen to your life lead you to a certain way which is meant for you that is crazy. I just, with this realization that I named at the beginning, I just noticed that I have so much work to do. And I know that there is also a part of me that tries to be perfect in this kind of area of love. But actually, it's not something that I can be perfect in because we human beings are not perfect. The future relationships that I'm going to be in are not going to be perfect. And that's something that I already know that's also something that i have to learn and accept because at the end of the day love is not something that you can control it's something that you feel it is out of your mind some things do not belong to your mind some things need to be felt like the state of being it's not something that you can think of or think about and wonder about it's something that you have to feel that's the same with love and that's what i need to learn this is kind of crazy like you know, sometimes we have so many thoughts and so many questions on everything. We want to know everything. Me personally, I want to learn a lot. I don't know where it comes from. Maybe I want to understand life. Maybe I want to understand everything. But I'm looking for so many answer answers. At the end of the day, I forget about feelings. You cannot figure out everything. And even if you figure out everything, I learned throughout my experiences, even though I'm really young, I learned that. It is not always helpful to know everything and it's not going to make you happier like this kind of feeling of looking and reaching happiness in a way that 
or reaching happiness by asking and knowing a lot. I think the true happiness lies within the present moment, living in a present moment. And that's also a lesson that I'm personally learning right now, how to fully live in a present moment, because we are so obsessed with thinking about the future, the past, everything. It is a habit for so many people to be your mind uh, doodling and talking non-stop. It is so hard. That is why we say that the mind is so powerful because it's so hard to stop it. But um, yeah, that's what I'm trying to learn. I'm reading a book from Eckhart Tolle at the moment. And it's kind of sad, honestly, that I need to read a book on how to live in the present moment. At the same time, that is something that has to be done as well as everything when it comes to healing and just changing myself to the day to the way that I want to be like and that's what I would always want to do because at the end of the day I'm trying to become a better person for myself even if it uh, means that I have to like let my ego go because that's something that I know is so hard for so many people but also I was thinking about is that really true like is it really a reflection I just saw this one video where a woman said the reason why this person cannot commit is because deep down you know yourself that you cannot commit and commitment is such a big word like words are so powerful and i i was trying to think about it too like i know it's really personal if i talk about it but for example time oh my god i was like what i need within a partner is that he gives me enough time and then I was thinking about it, like, was the last person that I was dating giving me time? And I, I thought in my head at first, no, because I was so, I don't know, it was my ego. But he did. He actually did give me a lot of time. But why was it still not enough? Because the reason for it was because I haven't, I didn't get myself time at that time. Like, I was so codependent with my partner back then. I was so codependent and it was i needed his attention i needed his time to feel good to have time for myself you know all the every every time that i had i spent on becoming better but not for me but for him not because he wanted it because uh, but because i wanted to be better for him because of my perfectionism which was stopping me a lot from a lot of things i want to talk about it another time but it's kind of like um of reflection and that's when i realized like damn i'm looking for someone who has time for me because i cannot like i don't have time for myself in relationships and that's what i need to figure out and where i want to find a solution because i don't want to forget about myself i don't want to lose the control over my own life and that is so important to know to not become codependent and become one with someone i mean there's a difference between becoming one in your know, codependency. That's something that is not good. Instead, I want to have a relationship where I don't expect... Because the reason why I'm talking about this right now is because I want to make people aware of the fact that sometimes when we have this mindset of, oh my god, I wish I had a girlfriend right now because... I need cuddles and I need someone who tells me how good I am and someone who accepts me. At the end of the day, we have so high standards on our partners. And that is not something bad. I mean, then you also attract someone who gives you all of this. But at the same time, maybe it's not going to be enough for you. And also, it's going to be a lot of pressure for you. So it's not called codependency, but there is another verb. But I, I don't really know when you depend on someone else. Much better is it when you can give yourself everything and you don't need it from your partner. But if he does or if she does give you all of this, you're still happy and grateful. But what I have learned through my heartbreaks is that all the love that we are looking for in other people is actually something that we need to look for in ourselves. Because at the end of the day, it's a love story with ourselves. We are the only person that is going to be with us our whole lives until the end. And it is so important that we love ourselves. It is not 
the love another person is not the love of our lives i think it is more about loving your own life and loving you in your life you know what i'm saying do you understand what i'm like does it make sense i think it does because for me it does it is a love story with yourself and that is i think the last word for today so if you liked it and you want to hear more of it maybe you should start a podcast or something let me know and that was it on the topic of love <laughs>